Now, for me personally, uh, before I've you know before I saw the Matrix, you know, um, uh, real time, you know, game experience, to me, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is the best game ever made to me. Like, like did like from graphics to gameplay, voice, sound, the dude's control, like everything about it, like speaks next generation. It's PS5 only, like in order to the stuff. So my question to you, and this is very important, man. Um, looking at games such as Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, like, have you seen anything coming in 2022 that surpasses those graphics utilizing the Unreal Engine 5? If so, can you name the game or genre that it's in? Sure. Yeah, no, totally. I mean, dude, that that uh, Hellblade 2 the other day, like seeing seeing that you know gameplay reveal the other day, I was so stoked because I mean that team is amazing. You know, they're really. <laughs> there's such a talented group over there and to yeah. see them, you know, really kind of expand on like the, like amazing, you know, formula that they already did, you know, with Senua, the first one. Right. Yes. I mean that, that to me just like blew my mind because it's like, I mean, their animation, you know, from a facial capture perspective is just, you know, even better than it was, you know, a couple of years yes, ago, you know, with some of the stuff they're doing. And I mean, yeah, to be able to like have Nanite, you know, really kind of shine like in that, in that demo that they showed, I mean, it was just amazing, right? There's the geometric and textural the, detail. The, the that we giant walking, yeah. that part was ridiculous because the fire yeah. went on him and he came out the joint, but that giant, and he was like, mm-hmm. yo, I, like, I seen you are. Uh, this. you're like, wait, do I know you? Yeah. Yo, that, that yeah. one piece right there was like, I, I, I got to play this game, son. Because I, I didn't yeah. finish the first one. I played a lot of it, but I didn't finish the first mm-hmm. one and stuff like that. But, like, I got to get that one done because, obviously, I know the stories connect. But yeah, man, like oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I can't wait to see more because I, I played that one, you know, when it came out and you got to play with headphones, by the way, you got to do it. Oh, like yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah, of that's, course. That's the way to do it is to play with headphones because the audio in the game is just amazing, too. So, I mean, and that's another thing where it's like, you know, we only saw, you know, that that demo, you know, just streaming on YouTube. Right. But like from an audio perspective assuming that they're using all the new audio systems that are in UE5, I mean, that's just going to take that to the next level, right? Um, so, yeah, I can't wait. All right, cool. Bet, y'all, I can't wait either, sir. Now, is um, is there anything else, or is that the only title you can speak <clears throat> on right now that you feel is going to, like, really do major damage in, in 2022? I mean, I was really impressed with that. Uh, I think it's Black Myth Wukong. Oh, the, Black Myth the, Wukong. Oh, yeah. my God. Dude, that game looks it looks sick. Yeah, no, I I was totally blown away by that. Like, cause they they did like that video. It was just a few months ago, I think, where they were like, "Hey, Bro, we've we've gotta taken spin our a chain game." Black Myth Wukong, <laughs> I had to spin a chain on that one, B. I know it's it it's gonna be awesome. I mean, from everything we've seen, right? Like, it just it looks it looks really just incredible, right? What they were able to do in switching the game, you know, from existing UE4, uh, their their code base in UE4, like moving it up to UE5. I mean just in early access, which is pretty crazy, right? Like, so, I mean, and there's still so much, you know, that we're still, you know, making better about the engine as it currently exists in, in yeah. 5.0. So, I mean, the fact that they already have a massive head start in that, and they were able to put out like this really pretty amazing trailer. I mean, that spoke to me a lot, so. Wow, man, like, I'm just, dude, I- I'm gonna tell you something right now, man. Um, Like, somebody that, like my first video game was Atari 2600 Pac-Man. You understand what I'm saying? So for me to be living in this time, dog, and seeing this stuff, it's too much. Like it's too much, man. It's unbelievable, man. So now, major, major, major question for you, bro. 